<laughs> oi, oi, yeah. I tell you what, yeah, I wasn't even gonna do this till tomorrow because man's licked, yeah. But you, man, were like, you want your match review tonight, so you're gonna riot in it. So, bruv, Manchester United 2, Man City 0, fam. This is your match reaction sponsored by the World Football app. Scroll down, download the app, all of that, all of that, bruv. Let's get into it, innit? Like, let's get into it, bruv. You see, one Bissaka, fam. That is the worst thing to happen to Sterling, bruv, since Brexit, fam. I don't know what happened. Had man switching sides like Bruce Jenner, cuz. Bro, it was mad. When you check man's pocket, man had the condoms, man had the car keys, the little Samsung thing, and Raheem, fam. It was peak. I just don't even know, bruv. He was world class last week, bruv. And then Ron Basaka just had man on his bike. It was beautiful. Beautiful, mate. Do you know what I mean? You see, I was cussing against Everton, yeah? And I was like, the diamond don't work. There's no width. It only works with full backs. Flipping Brandon Williams and Wamba Saka today were immense, bro. Like, Fred was amazing today. Do you know what I mean? But, them two were the catalyst for everything. Our width, our full backs were amazing, bro. I don't trust Brandon as a, um, as a full back. I've told you before. I still don't trust him. Um, defensively, but with Luke Shaw in the pocket inside, Brandon as a wing back is immense, brother. I thought he was brilliant today. Like not a lot of people are going to talk about Brandon today, but I think he was brilliant today. Wamba Saka, oh he can't attack, he can't attack. Yeah, less of that now, guys. Less of that, okay? Like he had man on toast today defensively, and attacking wise. There's a few times where he went past man. He was doing absolute bits, bruv. Tropicana, baby. Do you know what I'm saying? Man like Luke, fam. Man like Homer. Do you know what I mean? Another solid um, performance at left centre-back. That is where he needs to play. That's the formation we need to play all season. I said it. Even in my match preview, I said this is the formation we would play. Obviously, I had Bailly instead of Lindelof. And I had Agarlo instead of Daniel James. who had a stinker today again. Like, his pace gives us an outlet, yeah. But in terms of, like, ability, yeah. Like, he's not even as good as Pereira, bruv. Like, it's painful, isn't it? Like, I want the kid to do well and that, but... Like, now we've got Bruno and you're seeing the players kind of step up a level with Martial. You realise that he's just not there, innit? But I don't want to dwell on that anyway. Fuck that. See, I'm not even meant to swear, but I'm drunk, bruv. So it is what it is, yeah. This didn't happen. Right. So, Harry Maguire, the head, bruv, from Art Attack. I don't really know. Um, he had a solid game today. Solid enough game. Didn't have too much to do, to be fair. Um, if I'm honest, the first 15, 20 minutes, I was worried, innit? Like, De Gea makes a save from Raheem Sterling. If that goes in, I think it's a different game. I think it's easy to get lost in the source here because we won. But for large periods of the game, we weren't that great, innit? But who cares about that because we won, innit? Bun City as well, with your little ban as well, bruv. And Pep with his receding hairline, bruv. Man, like Bruno told man to fall back like the hairline. I'm telling you, boy. You know what I'm saying? Humpty Dumpty, Fraudiola, bro. So... Ultimately, like there were times where we were under pressure, but we rode the storm, we made our own luck, we had that five at the back and it kept us pretty hard to penetrate. Apart from Raheem Sterling's chance, I can't remember too many chances where they actually got in behind us and made De Gea have to make a save. Um, Aguero's goal, that was ruled offside. Other than that, it was a game of both teams having spells of having a lot of the ball but not really creating a lot of chances. Um, Lindelof, um, Maguire, would you say they had a decent game in it? They didn't have really too much to do. Um, in the second half, when um, Pep made the two changes and brought on Mares and who else did he bring on? He made a double change. Um, and Oli didn't react. Like, man always waits till after 70 minutes. Like, we won. I'm going to be super positive because I'm super happy, guys. But, like, I hold Manchester United in the highest of esteem, innit? Like, I want us to get back to winning the Premier League. Like, it's not just good enough being better than Arsenal or being better than these other teams. I want us to be the best team in the country, innit? And for me, tactically, there were still so many things that even 1-0 up here, City have made two changes. You don't react to any of the changes. Why not? Why not? And then we had a period, we were one nil up, we didn't have a striker on the pitch, blood. Man took off Martial for McTominay, we're under the cosh. When you're under the cosh, you need an outlet upfield, yeah, to hold the ball. Like, not ping the ball into the channel for Daniel James, like, who was having a shit game anyway. 
Do you know what I mean? And these are small things that like will prevent us from kicking on and going to that next level. Small tactical things. When Agalo came on, you saw the difference with his hold up play and his link up play and stuff like that. And even though like he's not a top, top player, yeah, what he does do, he does well in it, even if it's something as limited as that. So I just felt like there was little things in the game that still showed me, even though we are winning, it showed me that like there wasn't much thought process going on on the side of the pitch. Go into Pastor Frederick with another beautiful sermon, bruv. I'm tired. I'm tired of these man of the match performances, bruv. He needs to let someone else have one. He needs to, innit? Because it's funny, you know. MDL, blood. You see the man that wanted Martial out? They were like, they wanted Fred out. They were like, yeah, these man are a waste of money, bruv. 50 million is looking like a steal for both of them. Fred, Fred is world class, bruv. Better than Kante FC, bruv. I told man about N'Golo, bruv. The floating Malteser, bruv. My guy. I love him. Do you know what I'm saying? N'Golo Farrow and that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He runs a lot and that. He adds energy to the midfield. So does the Lucas Aid Sport, bruv. I told man already, but Fred's got the techers. He's got two feet. And the geese are like covered more grass than a lawnmower. I told man already today, bruv, on Twitter. The lawnmower's not covering grass like Fred. I'm telling you. Fred the groundsman, bruv. That's it. He knows every blade of grass, bruv. He's probably got nicknames for all of them. I'm t he's the man. He's the fucking man, bruv. I'm telling you. Man like Frederick, again. Man like Matic as well. Just don't put... He's not putting a foot wrong. Him and Fred, they just complement each other. They complement each other so well. Because it's like, Fred is the all action, boom, boom, boom. And Matic is the guy that kind of slows things down. Do you know what I'm saying? So it just works nicely. And what's pissing me off now is when I see Fred and, Mat Fred and um, Matic playing together, you could have done Fred, Matic, Pogba, bruv. Because there's no reason Pogba couldn't have played in the role that Bruno was playing in and he would have been thriving. And to be fair, when he was, his GA was like 10 or something and he was moving mad, innit? So another good performance from Matic, bruv. Do you know what I mean? He don't look like the man you're static here when he's got Fred next to him just oozing, fam. Bruno, quiet game for him, to be honest. I saw on Sky Sports they were throwing all these stats around and that, but Bruno had a quiet game, innit? Don't be fooled, people. Like, that shows the quality of Bruno because he was involved in a lot of good things, but actually, for large parts of the game, he wasn't really involved. And that's the sign of a brilliant player. Brilliant player. Like, like I said, bruv, Bruno's the guy that they thought that Ozil was, bruv. Do you know what I mean? How may I assist you, bruv? Bruno's levels. And he told um, Pep to go suck his mum as well. And I felt that in my soul. Do you know what I'm saying? So, it's one of, it wasn't one of his better games, but it didn't need to be. He affected the game at the right time. That ball, yeah? The delicacy, yeah? Of the chip over to Toto, bruv. And then he finished that, yeah? Edson, bruv. I don't know what he was doing, bruv. That like Edison at the near post, that was disgusting. But you know what? We'll have that. Do you know what I mean? We'll have that. Do you know what I'm saying? For all the Martial haters, we'll have that. Do you know what I'm saying? The little cheeky dink. I told man he could find space in a single bed with Vanessa Phelps, blood. Single bed with Gemma Collins. He can find space in a phone box with Katie Hopkins, nose, blood. Like, the list goes on. Do you know what I'm saying? The list goes on. It's a beautiful thing. Tony Marshall scores again. 50 million down the drain. I told you, man, you'll be singing that again. I told man you'd be singing that again. So, it's it's a beautiful day, people. It's a beautiful day. Tony and Fred, my guys, you know. My flipping guys, fam. That's what it is. So, I'm just super happy right now. And it's only left is Daniel James. Is what it is. It does what it says on the tin, innit, bruv? Sonic the Hedgehog blood without tails. He's just out here just collecting coins. Literally collecting coins. Man's getting paid to just run. So, it, it, it is what it is. Like, I'm, I just don't even know. Like, it's getting to the point where I don't even want to talk about him no more. Because then people just think that it's an agenda. It's not an agenda. I just want my team to be better. I think that if we had more quality on that right-hand side, yeah, I think that we could have put City to the sword today because they were poor. Like, Bernardo Silva, did he even play today? Did he even play today? I heard the Bruyne, I heard about this youth called Bruno Fernandes and wanted none of it. That's what I heard. Do you know what I'm saying? So, we absolutely slapped them all over the place. Like, it, it was beautiful. City were crap. There were, there were spells of the game where they had loads of the ball and I was worried. I can't lie. Like, honestly, the first 15 minutes of the second half went so slowly for me. My belly was in knots. I thought City are going to score. Then they made the double change and I was like, yeah, they brought on Jesus and Mares, And I was like, bruv, we're in trouble because Oli didn't react to the change, bruv. And that's amateur. You have to react to the change. He didn't react to the change and we were lucky to ride that storm out. And then even for the second goal, it was a mistake. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm super, super happy 
But this performance today kind of reminded me of the 4 0 against Chelsea, where there were large spells of the game where we probably weren't the better side, but we were just clinical, innit? So I'm I'm licked, innit? I don't want to get lost in the sauce, bruv. I don't, innit? You know what I mean? And I don't want to be too negative because I'm super happy, bruv. Like, you man don't even understand, bro. Like, my, my fight got postponed because of the coronavirus thing. And it's in a few more weeks. So that's why I had a drink today, bruv. A man's head's gone, innit? However, like, as much as I'm super happy about this performance, I have to be balanced in, in my analysis. I always try and be balanced. Even though we won, and there were, lo there were spells of the game where we looked decent, like, I still saw... Loads of little holes in what's going on. And it's like they always say you learn more from a defeat than you do from a victory. But I try and look into the victories and try and be as level headed as possible. And there were large parts of the game where I thought we're done for, mate. You know what I mean? I was like, bruv, if we concede now, we're, we're fucked, innit? Luckily, it didn't come. Do you know what I mean? Man's not trying to dwell on that, though. Man of the match for me is between Spider Man and Frederick. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not even going to choose one, innit? You lot choose one. Tell me who your man of the match was. Tell me who you was impressed with. Like, I have to say, yeah, like, unsung hero has to be Brandon, innit? Because I know a lot of people are going to talk about Wamba Saka. A lot of people are going to talk about Fred because it's obvious, innit? But I think that Brandon Williams quietly, yeah, put in a brilliant display today, fam. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I don't even know what I've missed, bruv. I'm fucking drunk, bruv. Like, man... Yeah, I got a film in the morning as well with Flex. We're doing a few things and that. I've been painting my studio as well, bruv. Like, I just had to do an undercoat on the wall. Two undercoats. And then I'm painting my green screen tomorrow. You get me? So, man's been painting and decorating and that. But the studio is nearly finished. Got a new show coming to the United Stand as well where I'm going to analyse today's game with some numbers. Do you know what I'm saying? Bro brought to you by the United Arena. A nice little stat show so we can break down what's happened in the game, guys. More content, more of that. Literally, as I said, like, you lot demanded this, so I'm doing this now. I was meant to do this tomorrow, so I'm fucked. I don't even know. If I've missed something, let me know, innit? But, fam, that's your match review, innit? I need to get some water, fam, so I'm not hanging in the morning because I need to film. And love you lot, innit? We're fucking, well, we're not back, but I'm gassed in it. Like, th this is amazing, man. I'm going to catch you lot tomorrow. <laughs>